Let's see how many cars we have to wash today. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Are you ready for them to go through the car wash? If you are, shout, go cars, go! Go cars, go! Wow, that was loud. Here we go. Wow, that was so much fun. Look how shiny and clean they are. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Washing cars, are you? It's so much fun to make them bright and shiny and clean. Washing cars is fun, it's true. I know a story about washing too. Listen to this, just follow me through. Who, who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. So happy to see you today. Check out this car. It belongs to my friend Arturo. I'm helping him fix it because the wheels aren't working. Oh, <laughs> and that's what you do to be a good friend. You help them. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you wanna help me build it? <laughs> Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. It was the night he had all his friends, the disciples, with him at dinner. His friend John was there, and Matthew, and Peter. They all were at the table. Then, Jesus took a towel and knelt down by his friends. Do you know what Jesus was doing? He was about to wash his friend's feet. His friends had been walking around dusty roads all day and their feet were dirty. <laughs> Everyone say, ew! Ready? <gasps> ew! <laughs> yep, talk about a stinky job. Ooh. Now, we need to fill up the bowl with water. Can you guys take your pretend buckets and help me fill the bowl with water? Ready? One, two, three. Ah, good job. <laughs> now, Jesus has water. Then, Jesus washed his friend's feet. Huh. Can you believe that? Jesus is so important. He is God's son. Why would someone so important wash his friend's feet? Hmm. Because he wanted to show his friends that he loved them. And you're never too important to love others by doing something for them, like washing their feet. Everyone say, wow! Ready? Wow! Jesus is a good friend. <laughs> hmm, let's think for a minute. 
If we wanted to be a good friend like Jesus, what could we do to show love to other people around us? What if you're playing outside and your neighbor friend wants to play on your favorite scooter? Do you let them? <laughs> yes, you share your favorite scooter. That is being a good friend. What if there's a long line to get a turn in the bouncy house, but there's a little kid behind you who's really excited to bounce? Do you let them go in front of you? <laughs> yes, you let them go in front of you. That is being a good friend. You already know lots of ways to be a good friend. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love people like Jesus did. So let's be good friends. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loved by being a good friend, and we can be a good friend too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, even though Jesus is God's son, he got down and washed his friend's dirty feet. We can do kind things for our friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. This car wash is so cool. I could keep it to myself, but I'm gonna go find my friends and let them play with it too. I'll see you next time.